Hey kids, on today's episode of Teaching Baseball, we're going to learn how to read the scoreboard that you see on the television when you're watching a baseball game. Now, depending on what channel or team you watch, the graphic will look a little bit different, but it essentially has all the same information. First thing you will notice is the team logos. This is the logo of the Los Angeles Angels, and this is the logo of the Oakland A's. One thing I can tell you about this game already is that the A's are the home team. Here's how I know. The home team is always listed second, or if the names are stacked on top of each other, the home team is always on the bottom. The biggest numbers listed are usually the score, because that's what everybody wants to know right off the bat when they check in on a game. In this current moment of the game, the Angels have two runs, and you'll see that the A's have no runs. This section tells us how many runners are on base. Each diamond represents a base, and if it's empty, there's nobody on that base, but if it's colored in, then there's somebody on that base. I can tell that there are runners on first and second base. This tells me that it is the bottom of the third. The arrow pointing down means that it's the bottom of the third. If the arrow was pointing up, it would be the top of the third. So I know that since the home team always bats in the bottom of the inning, the A's are currently at bat. I also know that we're pretty early in this game because we're only in the third inning and a regulation baseball game is nine innings. There are no outs so far in the inning and runners on first and second, that's a pretty good situation to be in if you're the Oakland A's. This is the count. This tells you how many balls and strikes there are to the batter at this particular moment. The balls are always listed first and the strikes are always listed second. So right now the count is Zero balls and one strike. This is the name of the pitcher who's currently pitching for the Angels and the total number of pitches that they've thrown so far in the game, which is 48. This is who is currently at bat for the Oakland Athletics. This is the number four hitter, cleanup hitter. Pinder is the person's last name. And they're one for one today. One, the first number, is how many times they've gotten hits. And the second one is how many times they've been at bat. So, this player has been up once so far in the game, and when they were up, they got a hit. This section will pop up just briefly after a pitcher throws a pitch, and it will tell you what type of pitch it was, in this case, a sinker, and how fast it was going. 96 MPH stands for 96 miles per hour. So the last pitch was a sinker that was going 96 miles per hour. As you can see, there's a lot to think about when you're looking at a baseball game. And baseball can change dramatically from pitch to pitch, out to out, inning to inning. Hopefully this video helped you to be able to look at the scoreboard and understand what's going on and helps you enjoy the game.